What connects advanced virtual reality computer games to the way we interact with the world in our everyday lives? Be it walking through work, choosing our food, enjoying a drink, or feeling for our belongings. To find out, we visited University College London, where BBSRC funded researchers are exploring the frontiers of sensory perception and have found exactly what part of the brain houses our sense of stiffness. So what you see behind me is a volunteer that is grasping and lifting different objects and subjects had to compare the stiffness between two objects and they had to report which one was the hardest, the stiffer. So the blue one's quite light and it feels very squidgy when you pick it up. Um, and placing it back down for when I get a red one. It's really heavy, it's quite difficult to move. But it feels much harder. When subjects were undergoing stimulation of the posterior parietal cortex, they were wrong in making those judgments. They were actually reporting the stiffnesses to be always um, softer than what they were. And what we are finding here is that this brain area is not only controlling movements, but is also taking care of perception and how uh, you put together the sense of position and the sense of force. What's important in that experiment is that the hand can be seen as an interface between the brain and the environment. So what we are doing right now is pushing the frontiers of our understanding of how the brain is communicating with the environment on the one side and how uh, the brain is collecting information back from the environment. These findings will have an important impact on improving virtual reality environments, but that may also have a translational impact into clinical rehabilitation and in particular for patients with sensory impairments.